Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at using thematic.co to create a visual story. I'm already signed in here, and let's go ahead and click create a story. And as you can see, you can import pictures from a Dropbox folder, or you can import them from your computer, which is what we'll do here. I'm going to select a handful of pictures about my dog, Morrison. So I'm going to tell a little story about him. I'll just use a few of these pictures. And maybe I'll take one more picture. There we go. So I have five pictures, and I'm going to now upload those. Alright, so once your pictures are uploaded, Thematic is going to try to put you into this title screen right away. But if you want to reorder your pictures before you start to put in a title screen, just go over here to the right hand corner, click that icon, and you can drag and drop your pictures into a different order. So I'm going to drag this one up, and I'm going to drag that one up, and I'll drag that one down, and I'll drag that one down. So now I'm done with that order. Now I'll go back in, and let's add a title. So we'll call this one A Story About Morrison. A great dog. And as you can see, if you want to change the color of the font, you can do so over here. You can change those colors as well. And now we can scroll down and we'll see the next picture. And I can add some more text and say Morrison had many friends. These were his best buddies, Cat and Fergie. And we'll scroll down here and add some more text. We'll say, he loved to go for rides. And again, scroll down and say, we traveled the country together. and scroll down some more and I'll add the last bit and say despite being part lab we never did get him to swim All right. so you can see now my story is public we can click that icon to make it private and then click it again to make it public we'll say done and when this story loads, we'll be able to scroll through and share the story. Now, the address we see at the top here is the address assigned to the story. So if you want someone to view your story, just give them that web address. Of course, as you can see here, you can also Facebook it, tweet it, put it on Google+, send it as an email. Uh, you can also go ahead and grab the embed code and embed it directly into your website or blog as a blog post. You can choose from the different sizes that will fit your screen. I'm going to close that menu at the bottom there. And you can see if I click on the image, it goes in and out, removes the text. And as I scroll down again, there's the text. And I can click on it and remove the text. Over here, we have a comment option so people can comment on your story if you allow it to be a public story. And now we're back to my profile, where we see all the stories that I've ever made and the people who are following me. So that's thematic. It's a nice way to create a visual story. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.